Happy, beautiful Bitcoin halving day, you wonderful, blessed souls. Well, today, this morning at 2 a.m. CAT time, wherever you are in the wonderful world, was the day of the Bitcoin halving that we have all been waiting for. Welcome back to the Crypto Blue Show. I'm Kiara Ducasse. I thought I'd try a little bit of a different angle, different view on the camera here today. Let me know if you like it down in the comments below. Um, I'm going to get me a couple uh, um other cameras soon and set up my studio a little bit more in a very cool way. So nonetheless, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here with me today. It's been two days since I've done a video for you guys. This is definitely coming alive. So, uh, you know, are we seeing anything happen here in the space that can change our lives? Not right now, but essentially what we're looking for is a possibility of the next kind of 6, 12 to 18 months of absolute parabolic insane gains. Now, I've personally been in the crypto space for now 4.25 years. So four years and a quarter, basically. Um, so I've got a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of experience in the space. And I look at the possibilities of how it is that we can come here and make money together. So I've made good money in, in certain coins, but there are many, many things here. If you guys come over to my channel, I've got lots of videos for you. It doesn't matter that they're a few days old or two weeks old. These are still relevant today because we just hit the halving point this morning. So today I'm gonna to show you a few charts that might change your thoughts about your investment thesis and where to possibly look at putting some of your capital. Now, even though we hit the halving today, our Bitcoin halving clock has obviously now reset and we now officially have 1,412 days, once again, four years to our next Bitcoin halving. This halving was Bitcoin's fourth halving. Uh, it started off at uh, uh, 50 Bitcoin in the beginning, then its first halving went down to 25, then 12 and a half, then 6.25 and now we are sitting at about 3. Point, kind of 3.125 kind of scenario uh, in terms of how many Bitcoin will be mined per day. Now, the next Bitcoin halving will be an estimated around this time in 2028, four years away. So I think that's pretty amazing. That'll give us about another 210,000 Bitcoin blocks that would have been halved, uh, uh, sorry, mined by that time. So. This is very, very cool. And new Bitcoins are issued by the Bitcoin network every single 10 minutes. Uh, and here's my scenario that I've just expressed and explained to you. Now, a little bit of the news that is out there in the space is that Bitcoin barely bubbles after the halving. We'll have a look at that in the chart uh, very, very shortly, I guess. But uh, yeah, I mean, Bitcoin has barely, barely done anything. I did tell you guys that it's unlikely that on the day and we'll have a look at one of my charts just now that we would see any move that, you know, really disrupted the market upwards or downwards on the day. So even though, you know, we've got to this halving point, BTC was priced at about $64,000 at this year's halving. So we will go and talk about that because essentially, if we go to each halving date and look at the halving time, Bitcoin has undoubtedly at that point raised in its price, meaning that as an asset, it continues to rise upwards in its price. Okay, so it is a very good store of value. It is against your dollars and other assets, and hard assets and cash assets. And it is a very, very good store of your wealth. So essentially, you do want to invest yourself in Bitcoin as the king of crypto being your strong store of wealth, even further than the gold scenarios. But, you know, of course, it is currently volatile, but with, you know, this will come massive gains. So let's go and have a tackle a bit of with a bit of some of the news that's just come out in the last few days. But Bitcoin Archive, um, shout out to him. Bitcoin halving in 10 blocks. I mean, this was 12 hours ago, so that's really amazing. Uh, and as you saw, um, so join me on this Bitcoin halving live stream. I wanted to do a live stream for you guys, uh, but unfortunately, just, yeah, I was exhausted. I've been working my ass off 
and I've been doing a heck load of stuff. So truly, we are definitely blessed. We are about to do some crazy, crazy stuff in this space. So happy Bitcoin halving day is essentially what I want to say. Now, stock money lizards, there is something in the channel, uh, sorry, that kind of stock money lizards and a few people on the internet are kind of talking to and talking about. World War Three, we go to zero, but halving, we go to the moon. New all-time high usually means rally, but interest rate hikes zero. So there is a little bit of a confusion, and that's why it almost looks like a wick off distribution. Um, but you see, this is essentially what is being said that could be a wick off. So are we at that point, or are we at a triple bottom kind of area with a triple top kind of area is the question that we need to ask. But I guess we'll have a look at that in the charts in a short little moment. Uh, and of course, you know, having a look at our beautiful banter bubbles, we are kind of pumping out here in the market today in your gaming coins more specifically. Um, but let's go and have a look at, I mean, there's a lot of blood on the streets out there in the t today. Uh, but essentially, if we're going to look at the cryptocurrency market cap, we're only down 1.1% for the day at $2.43 billion. A trillion dollars. The trading volume has diminished once again to about 87.4. Bitcoin is sitting 64,000. Ethereum is 3,050. Tether didn't print that much money in the last two, three days that I did my last video. So that's good. That's a, a relatively good sign. I say good because the more they print, the more they'll increase the value, which I love. But then the more your dollars mean nothing to you. So that's why uh it is very important to just hold bitcoin no financial advice of course but if you guys want to trade with me use my buyback link down below my bitflex link down below you guys can get some cool bonuses we're going to come and have a look at some of my make sure you guys are subscribed to my crypto bliss channel and um yeah thank you to all of you who are here watching my content uh even though i can't get to my content as much as i'd love to for you guys just know that the stuff that I'm building in the background, I'll one day let you guys know about within our businesses. But it's taking a lot of immense energy, a lot of resources, a lot of power, a lot of capital. And but we're doing it in the back end. So, you know, just having a lot of fun with all of that. Now, the next best beautiful thing here, as you guys can see, the Bitcoin trade, we broke out of this kind of descending area. And I did make an additional entry into my trade. Not a big one because we're still... I'm still much higher than my entry level essentially down here. So if I add too much to my position, it'll pull my position all the way up here, which I don't really want. I want to maintain my position from down there. Um, but if I do see us retesting down here, then I'm going to have to say to you guys that the very likelihood of us continuing down and a further breakdown to my entry level is probably quite high. Um, then at that point, I would definitely, definitely say um, I would add more to, to, I would add tons more liquidity to my positions at that point. Um, but if we do end up kind of breaking up through this channel up here, because we have now broken out, retested essentially, and pushed back up and retesting there. So if we do get the momentum to break through, then that would be great. However, I'd like to show you something very, very quickly in just two uh, very different and special charts uh, or a couple of different special charts. Now, first of all, yes, just don't worry about all my lines. Just look at this top line over here, okay? This top line over here, that's all I want you guys to look at right now. So yes, Bitcoin dangerously has a very much a triple top, but it also has a triple bottom. So for me, I'm going to comfortably say to you, if we get a bounce, which we currently are off of the current level, I would suggest that the likelihood is that we're getting, we'll probably get another rejection at this point and hover sideways on this upward channel, kind of just medianing our, our so something like this, okay? You know, we could chop around in here for a little while until eventually, like people catch onto it. And then it just pumps up, guys. I just, I don't see Bitcoin coming down. I don't see it. 
But if it does, kind of the 48 to the 50K level is, as I've been saying to you guys for the past little while, is an area that you need to be very cautious about, which is down here at the target, essentially. So let's remove those lines for us. Um, now, as you can see here, we are bouncing very, very, very nicely, okay, off of this area. We've now wicked up, wicked up. Um, and look, this is kind of bouncing underneath the 50 moving. There's the 20. This, if this crosses, then the likelihood is we'll pull back down and then maybe the 50 kind of needs to bounce off of this level as well. I don't know, but as a trader, I look at what the, where the resistance and the support lines are. So my bottom is the support. My, my green to my blue line here is the support and my resistance is up here at the white. So as we're in a 10K trading range, you can make some money over a few days each, a couple days up couple days down one day down and you can it's not impossible uh but let's move on to my next and most beautiful chart that i'd love for you guys to watch so yes of course we have officially hit our halving the selling pressure is diminishing the rsi is pushing back up the mvrv is looking good the bsi rsi is looking good and the volume is starting to pick up once again so yes this is a much more clear chart and this was once resistant. So if we were to come down to that point, that would give us a very, very strong and clear bounce, probably off of my purple box here, which would essentially be that 53K level. So you can see there is a bit of a trading range. Yes, we are in a little bit of a downward sloping kind of pattern. Um, if I was to just be a very simple, you know, like what pattern we kind of look like, it is a bit of a, like a bull flag kind of pattern. Uh, I, uh, I'm not even gonna like. I'm not even gonna really entertain that. But that's really what it does look like at this point. And now that we are officially on the day of the halving, so happy halving day once again. Um, we literally, and I'm gonna remove those two lines. We literally are at a point where we need to go back in time and look at what history did. Now, when we were back here, I actually told you guys that we could meet this area of resistance and kind of dribble around here before we made up our way up to the Harvard, but look what we did. We actually did the complete opposite of what my chart looks like because of based on the previous history. Now, just because it's previous history doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen, this cycle. And that's what I think you need to know and understand is part of your conviction in this space is knowing that even though the past cycles don't look like the same, there's similarities. Now, the difference in this one, as you can see, there was a massive, massive divergence in what I drew in comparison to what happened in the price action. Literally, it was almost to the T, just on the opposite side, guys. So I would not be surprised if we do come back down to the 49K level, okay, to retest this zone, okay, at the 49K, which is the 6.18, which essentially... We're bringing our level from the previous all-time high to the base of the bottom. Why would we not retrace? Because essentially, this is the channel or the Fibonacci sequences that we're having to break through. And then it continues to the 1.618, the 2.18, the 3.6, and the 4.236. Now, guys, about 500 days, more or less. And that's why I say to you, kind of the six, next 6 to 18 months are bullish action every single time in history so that i am absolutely convicted that the price action of crypto bitcoin and other cryptos altcoins will go up okay that is my conviction i'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below and if you're enjoying the content please share this content with your mates to just give them a little bit of an idea of what to look out for what to expect now i'm going to bring this chart into the weekly. I've shown you guys this chart a few times now on my channel. In fact, a number of different times. Now, I want to go back. We can't even see the first uh, kind of the Bitcoin halving on this chart, but that was about in 2012, I think it was. Okay, but the price remained sideways. Here, the price kind of ran up to it and then set, kind of dropped down to the, the 100 
and the 50 moving average, which had already pulled up. Then we carried on the rally. Now, the next halving, okay, I mean, we then had this crazy massive, massive pump. So halving, okay, let's go and actually look at that pump. Let's go and quickly look at the pump that we engaged in at this level from the halving point. So from halving day, okay, to the all-time high, the next the, the following season's all-time high, okay, we did a 2,854% gain. Now then the same thing kind of happened, except this time we ran up and then the COVID hit and then we ran up and then we kind of sat sideways for a little bit above the 50, the 100, the 200 and the 20 while we patiently waited to gather momentum and buy entry into this market uh, from the from the beautiful Bitcoiners in the space. Now, let us go and basically pull our level from here. And now some would say that this kind of cycle that happened in, in 2020 was a shortened cycle because of the way that certain attributes um, actually unfolded in the space. So it didn't get uh, the drive that it essentially deserved to get. So perhaps a lot of that liquidity, especially considering that there's a lot more money that's been printed and available in the market, can then come out here into the space and potentially explode Bitcoin way, way, way higher than this. Now, that was a 666% gain. So if I had to even just go um, kind of the, uh, take the two and divide, take the two and then just divide it by, um, just divide it by itself. Let's or divide it by the two. I'm just going to use those two as an example. Although we know that there, that there have been three previous ones. I have no access to the three, uh, the, the original and the first one. So 2,850% on the first one plus 666 whoops, uh, divided by 2 gives us 1,758 as a potential pump from halving day to day for about 500 days going forward is the potential that we have to make a 1,000. And guys, look at this on the weekly just by the way. We're actually console like we're just chilling we're just chilling so and on top of it we're chilling above the 20 ema even more guys that's extremely bullish okay because if you guys know anything about your emas your 20 your 50 um your 100 and your 200 as long as you're riding on top of it Eventually, you'll have to break down from one to the next to retest and the retests get deeper. But that's because the, the 20 and the 50 kind of slow down and they catch up with or the 50, the 100 and the 200 catch up with the 50 and the 20 at that point. So now we're still well above the 20. And if we were to do a 1000, I mean, look at that, that smashes. This ballpark figure up here on the Fibonacci, which is about four, the 245,000, which gives us only a 285% gain. Guys, the division between what I've just said was 1,750% gain. That it gives us an estimate of about 1.16, 1, 1,160,000 1, to about $1.2 million of Bitcoin, the cycle. That is huge. That is massive, guys. That's a long way from where we are right now. And this is why I say to you, if you're buying one Bitcoin today at the $64,000 level and you get to, we get to a million dollars in Bitcoin, you're minusing your investment of $64,000 and your profit is $956,000. This cycle. In the next 500 days, uh, did you just say I'm going to take $64,000 and convert it with a blue chip king of crypto into $936,000 profit? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm just showing you certain facts that it is that I'm looking at, and so should you guys be. 
Now, Ethereum is kind of doing the same thing. Ethereum is kind of building a bit of a, a bull flag as well. Although I don't really like this doji, but this is just on this exchange. This is generally a bearish pattern. So we could fall down. It looks like we're just smashing and retesting this level, retesting here right now. But the same thing, the MACD is oversold, the RSI is oversold, the MBR is oversold. There's tiny sell pressure, but more buy pressure at the moment. The BSI, RSI are oversold. So that's why I believe that we have now double bottomed officially in the total crypto market cap. Again, MACD, again, RSI, MVRV, volume picking up and BSI, RSI. The volume is picking up. We are about to see the next massive capital inflows start coming into crypto. Wherever it's coming from, I don't know. I don't care. All I know is that this is, oh, it's seemingly inevitable. And I'd love to hear what you guys think. Yes, there are, of course, many other risks in crypto. This video is not financial advice, of course. I'm just sharing with you what it is that I'm doing. Because if you just own 0.01 Bitcoin, I believe you guys will be extraordinarily well off. So um, through my entire crypto portfolio right now, uh, I think my entire portfolio, crypto portfolio, not my Bitcoin portfolio, is worth about two Bitcoin um, at this point. Uh, you know, just transparency to my beautiful community. But this has taken me four years of hard investing uh, my own sweat equity capital because um, I do trade and I use that to just pay my, my monthly expenses and that kind of stuff. But um, I invest in certain projects for the long term to experience this bull run that we are about to experience right now. So I did tell you guys with the, the Dixie attempting, we also now have a, uh, even though we've broken out and we're somewhat looking like we're retesting, the sell pressure, I mean, the, the buying pressure has diminished all across the board here. And it's the complete opposite of what's happening in Bitcoin and crypto. So I think this is going to fail. I think we're going to pull back down here into the dollar uh, area. I just can see that happening. And if not, all the way back down here, which then essentially would give us a little bit more of a resistance level at this area. Uh, something that looks like that. So that is that would be ve a very interesting scenario to, to actually end up seeing unfold here especially considering that this does look like a w pattern and this does look like the neckline that we're essentially trying to break out of however the signals are telling us that it looks weak okay so bitcoin is definitely looking like the strong one the king and now if we look at the bitcoin dominance chart you can see here the same thing has happened on the time frame you can see that we're attempting to continue to push up i've been telling you guys we have been going higher and higher higher lows higher highs we continue to push up. I've been showing you this for a long, long, long time. Now, I just want to kind of give you guys an example. So uh, let's go back to this chart very, very quickly. And let's quickly get our dates so that we can draw it in on that chart. Now, 4th of July. Okay, let's go back to our BTC dominance chart. So 4th of July. Give us a vertical line. 4th of July. Oh, what was it? 4th of July. 2016. Okay, 4th of July 2016. Boom, right there. Okay, the next one was 11th of May 2020. 11th of May 2020. 11th of May 2020. Come 11 May, there you go. Boom. And then the next one is uh, today. So April 20. Boom, let me get my chart. April 20, so April 20. I've got to zoom in a little bit here for us, guys. A little bit here for us, lads. Uh, okay, oh no. Okay, we have to go in on the daily time frame and correct that. So let's just quickly get this right for you guys. So boom, there you go, officially halving day. So look at all of our indicators on halving day. Now let's zoom out just very quickly on the Bitcoin dominance so that we can see our indicators on the Bitcoin dominance. We're getting more buy power back into Bitcoin. We've broken out of the downslope here. The MVRV is at the bottom. You know, the volume has picked up tremendously in, in uh, Bitcoin. The chart's breaking out. We've got a falling wedge pattern. So if we close this week tomorrow above this area, essentially, I think we're going to get up to about this area. 
Now, I just need to show you something very, very, very quickly. After the halving, Bitcoin didn't do anything after this halving here. Then we had this massive, crazy altcoin season where Bitcoin lost essentially from halving day to the bottom 64% of its total market cap to altcoins. Okay. Massive. So if we're talking about 10 to $15 trillion in Bitcoin, potentially this cycle, and 55% of that comes out, we're looking at about 8 trillion in the market cap, just like I have been speaking about on my total crypto uh, market cap uh, chart for you guys all the way here, as I have previously said, all the way up to about here. So that is something that could possibly happen. Now, if we look at what happened from the next area, at this Bitcoin halving, we the Bitcoin price fell and then it had this massive pump back into Bitcoin and then we had the altcoin season. So I would say take it from the halving date because that's a fair moment. Um, okay, we essentially, Bitcoin lost another 42% to altcoins. So you can see Bitcoin is losing less and less and less against the altcoins. Plus we are building this kind of upwards trend right here on bitcoin so if we were to pump per se to this potential area although we've been taking our measurements from halving day so that's around about here where we're at now the bitcoin we could expect maybe 27 to 30 percent into uh, out of bitcoin and into the altcoins for this season so that's a that's a decent way to look at it um and uh yeah guys uh let's go and look at how long the cycles were essentially because i believe we'll be getting the longest cycle so this was uh 546 days like i said to you about 500 days eh uh this one was an estimated about 371 days that's why the previous one was cut short guys uh so if we are to do a similar kind of measurement from halving day about 500 let's call it just call it 500 days okay we could expect on the 18th of august like i predicted the end of october would be the complete top of the cycle so hopefully you would have managed to take quite a substantial amount of profits kind of towards the end of this year going into next year is what I would say and suggest, which tells me that we're looking good. We're looking incredibly good, guys. At that point, I hope you guys have made more money than you could ever imagine and you have freed yourself from the enslavement of the financial system through buying Bitcoin because that is essentially my purpose of buying all of these altcoins um, is to essentially accumulate more Bitcoin and invest where I have conviction in specific projects because of what it is that they're doing not only for the crypto space but for the entire space altogether. now i just want to lastly show you make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hitting that notification bell i have quite a few videos coming after you today and tomorrow monday will be my next live session 7 p.m don't miss out on that live session now i just want to show you very very quickly my trades and uh, i've shown you my bitcoin trade now excuse me and now I will show you my other trades. So I have an Ethereum trade open. They're very, very, very small right now, guys. You can see I, I'm sub $10 on these trades. So I'm not even risking a lot. Where do I buy my crypto? I buy my crypto on spot. It's safer. It's better. This is like, this is like your, you know, I don't know. Cannabis for me is a medicine. So using, you know, taking some money and going to go buy some cannabis and using it recreationally as a medicine, you know, even though that doesn't even make sense. What I'm saying is because that that is part of me and this is like part of what I do. I would say to you guys simply so, this is very, very different to what it is that we could be looking at in the near future. My Bitcoin trade is up 1,900%. You guys saw that I did a degen on a couple of videos back, 100x leverage on Bitcoin because of my position. So we'll see. Even if I get liquidated on that, guys, it's five dollars. Like I said, I'm not like this is money to piss in the wind, is what I'm saying. So um, you know, if you guys want to use my links down below, you could potentially do some really cool uh trades here and investments. 
Uh, my Ethereum trade is at 9x leverage at the moment. If you don't know what you're doing with leverage, don't play with such high leverage. Go anything from 1 to 3x. That is really, it gives you lots of breathing space on these hard wicks down and dips, ins and outs. Now, Myro, I got about $6.9 in um, and Concoin about $6.1. So I'm up on those trades, 10% on Ethereum, 76% on Myro, and I'm only 6x and 5x on those two. Um, and then 4% on Concoin. So very simple, very good plays, very good charts, very good energy out there. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, you bless your beautiful souls. Happy Bitcoin halving.